Why do TV networks buy so many pilot scripts when they air so few? First of all, professional TV writers don't ask this question. Let's not rock the boat as long as they're buying our scripts. We're happy. When I'm not on staff of a TV show, I'm trying to sell a pilot script. This is how I make my living. But even when I am on staff of a TV show, I'm trying to sell a script on the side to supplement my income. Why? Write this down. Because more money is better than less money. Mm, Okay. So obviously when I sell a script, the goal is that they put it on the air. That's my dream, right? But if someone wants to pay me a lot of money to write a script and they're going to put it underneath a dining room table to steady the uneven leg, I'm okay with that too. Here's how it works generally, although for streamers, it's always a little bit different, but okay. At the beginning of every season, the boss, the big cheese, calls on all the development executives and says, guys, we need to come up with more TV shows to replace the ones on our schedule that suck. But boss, all our shows suck. Jenkins, I swear to God, if you weren't my own son. Okay, now the boss, they have an idea of what kind of show is going to work, but it's just a guess. It's an educated guess. Then the TV executives meet with writers like me. They hear lots of different pitches, and if the pitch hits the, hits the bill, they'll purchase it. They'll pay us to write the script. Obviously, when they buy the script, they think the show has the potential to be a hit. But months later, when that first draft comes in, a lot of these shows are really poorly written. So they got to buy a lot to get a few good ones, and they pass the good ones up to the boss. The boss decides which ones they're going to shoot, put on the air, and all that stuff. Now, occasionally, a really poorly written script will somehow slide its way in and make its way onto the schedule. How do I know this? Because I watch TV. Some of these shows, you're like, who the hell do you think is going to watch this other than adults 18 to 34 who can't find their remote control? Whatever. This is my opinion of how the industry works. I'm a TV writer with 26 years of experience. If I really knew what the hell I was going on, I'd be broadcasting from my beach house over in Malibu instead of my home office inside my converted garage. So what the hell do I know? For more tips from my TV writer with a garage, keep following me here. And if you want me to email them to you for free, sign up to my watch list. The link is in my profile.